This video is brought to you courtesy of tech buyers. Go to tech buyers to buy yourself computers, laptops, desktop PCs, and also order stuff from Amazon for a given fee. And if you decide to go there, make sure you mention us on how you found them. Check them out in the link in the description below. It's Namlogia guys and welcome back to another video. Now since this is a tech, not a tech, this, since this is an advice channel, it's good for me to advise you on some things beyond life, some things like technology. Since I love technology, it makes life easy. It's good for me to advise you uh, when I come across things that can help you. Now in this case, we are going to be talking about budget laptops and the price range that I'm talking about is below 30,000 Kenya shillings or 300 US dollars. So, yep. So welcome to the budget review for the laptops below 30,000 Kenya shillings, which is an equivalent of 300 US dollars for those who are not in my country right now. So the first laptop you see on the screen is from a company called Life and it's called the Z Air. That is the name of the laptop, the Z Air. So this is the only laptop that came in a box. I mean the others were on display so forgive me if you don't see me unboxing the others and forgive me for the dust because the box was placed in a place that was dusty but the laptop is new. Uh, it hasn't been touched, hasn't been opened. I was the first guy opening it, so yeah. By the way, before I continue, I am only doing a hardware review. I did not get to experience Windows on these laptops. And uh, another disclaimer these laptops are from the shop that uh, sometimes sponsors my videos, tech buys. So, yes, but I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. So I'm giving you an honest review from a tech guy like me. So pretty much um, it's straightforward manuals and all that. By the way, nice packaging. Wish all laptops came like this because I thought this was a tablet at first. And then I realized it was a laptop. So kudos to them to life for nice packaging anyway so uh, the laptop doesn't even come with a one-year warranty as you can see on the display you've seen a one-year warranty card so the manuals and all that so the laptop does come with a 14 inch display with a resolution of 1366 times 3 times 768 uh, pixels with an Intel HD graphics, um, Intel HD 500 with an EMMC storage of 32 GB. I don't know what's an EMMC, uh, I'm going to check it. I'm guessing it's maybe a substitute to an SSD. Um, we've got a 0.3 megapixel camera, and uh, we've got an Intel Celeron processor which runs up to 2.4 gigahertz. So you can expect Windows to run smoothly on this computer. 3 GB DDR3 RAM and an external storage of 500 and 500 GB. Obviously, Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.0 included. So forgive me, by the way, you may see the camera. I'm out focusing because I had put it on out focus. So pretty much uh, the basic stuff. As you can see, the I/O, two full-size USBs on the other side, um, USB 3.0, HDMI, the usual I/O that you find on the laptop. One thing I did notice is that the laptop is really um, not heavy, really light on my arms, and uh, yeah, uh, pretty premium feeling so far. I don't like the glossy um, touchpad, mouse mouse touchpad, because maybe it may be a fingerprint magnet. I did not notice it though, picking up a lot of fingerprints. On the keyboard side of things, I am a desktop user, so I like keys that travel. In short, I mean clicky keys. I like keys that click that sweet feeling of typing. I like that. In this case, this one did have some bits of clickiness, but... Uh, forgive me for that but not as satisfying as the ones in a desktop so that is the z air which retails at 23,000 kenya shillings or 2230 us dollars 
So let's move on to the next laptop. The Lenovo IdeaPad 110, which retails at 26,000 Kenyan shillings or 260 US dollars. As you can see, one thing I did notice about this laptop, it's, it's pretty heavy and big, so I don't know if that's convenient for the students. As you can see, it has pretty much basic I.O. So as you can see me checking around, it has this kind of a plastic finish to it on the front, which has some, I don't know, like a grill filling. Um, so yes, right off the back, as you can see, this one has a CD drive. For the price point, this is really good, but I don't even know who uses CD drives anymore. On the other side um, of the laptop, you will find the other I.O., which is standard among laptops, um, a HDMI port, an Ethernet uh, port, and two full-size USB-A ports. One is a 3.0 USB. Uh, headphone jack and I what I assume is a power plug Now this laptop is not a 360 and it's not a touch screen. I'm pretty sure you're not expecting such features This kind of a price point. So yes, that should not come as a surprise So on the inside it has the same kind of a finish with uh, The outside as you can see the Intel sticker right there. By the way, let's go on to the specs this computer rocks an Intel Celeron um, uh, processor which is clocked at 2.6 gigahertz uh, it's a 500 GB hard internal hard disk um, it has a HD display of 1366 to 17 by not to 17 rather 768 um, pixels Bluetooth Wi-Fi the usual things that you look for now I don't know why they placed the power button there that's weird uh, find it bothering at times uh, you may confuse it for a button on the keyboard so that's pretty much it for this laptop it's pretty standard I'm pretty sure you're not expecting to do something heavy with this um, at this price point anyway you are looking for something that you can just use for daily purposes okay as you can see it really the back there is really a fingerprint magnet I think it has fingerprints from being touched by other customers The next laptop on your screen is the HP 250G6 which retails at 28,000 Ken shillings. Now one thing I did love about this laptop is it's, it's premium feeling. Now I don't like the soft material. I mean I like the soft material on the top but the thing is a fingerprint magnet as you can see now my camera keeps on out focusing I'm sorry for that I don't know how many times I can disclaim for that but it's a pretty good laptop now this one has pretty much the same specs as the others as obviously you buying a laptop in this price range you don't expect much the IO is pretty standard uh, this one even has a full-size VGA port, um, Ethernet, HDMI, and two full-size um, USB, which are US super speed USB, which means uh, they transfer data more. And you can see there's also another USB on the other side, a memory card reader, and a disk drive. Now, this one has um, a lot of I.O., if that's what you're looking for. Um, it's pretty standard. I will choose this one over the Lenovo IdeaPad. Okay, so... Yes, um, going on to the inside, um, the laptop does has the same, but the inside has this like aluminium. I don't know if it's brushed on aluminium, but it's something that is, um, it feels premium for, for its price range. As you can see, the Intel Celeron um, sticker there. By the way, this one is powered by the Intel Celeron um, sticker. As you can see, there is nothing uh, special, like I said, 500 GB of hard disk space, 4 GB of memory, and a 32.62 um, centimeter screen, which is HD, uh, which is 1366 times 768, um, the usual standard laptop screen. Uh, the buttons feel good, um, not glossy, no, it's not a fingerprint magnet on the inside, as you can see the screen is pretty big and this one as the HP, as the Lenovo, not the HP, as the Lenovo IdeaPad is heavy and kind of big, but again if you're using, if you want to buy a laptop for daily uses and uh, not heavy users, just regular watching movies, browsing the internet, this one will run Windows pretty good, so I don't expect you to expect more from this kind of a price point. 
So next on on the screen we have the HP ProBook 4 30 G2. As you can see, HP has a really consistent uh, design, uh, really premium. Now this one retails at 28,000 Kenya shillings. It's more on the expensive side of things, almost nearing to 30,000 Kenya shillings, which is an equivalent of uh, 300 uh, US dollars. Now for the 28,000 uh, Kenya shillings is an equivalent of 280. Uh, US dollars as you can see it's a really premium feeling laptop the soft uh, Feeling on the top there the IO as you can see pretty standard two full-size USB uh, Jacks which I can see are super speed ports and an, and a headphone jack as you can see this one has a memory card reader on the front and the IO uh, on the other side is a full-size VGA Ethernet HDMI and two super speed USB uh, pots and what I assume is a power inlet on the other side. So yes On the inside the laptop does feel premium like the other now this one does feel like legit aluminium um, It is I think aluminium and it's brushed the brushed aluminium texture I could feel it with my fingers as you can see on the screen here um, really nice and it has an Intel Celeron powering um, it now for the specs the Intel Celeron processor is what is powering this one clocked at 1.50 gigahertz 4 GB of RAM um, I don't know about the hard disk uh, I think it's 500 GB of hard disk not hard disk hard disk space um, pretty much the other things are basic, uh, the usual stuff, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all that, speaker grills on the top, the HD is, uh, not the HD, the display, sorry, the display is HD at 1366 times 768 um, pixels. Now I can see, I can hear my cat crying outside there, don't worry about the chickens also, they love crowing when I'm recording videos, but that should not be a bother. So this is a pretty good laptop. Next one on your screen as you can see is the HP ProBook 450G2. Yes, this is the updated version of the 430G2. Now this one is the 450G2 which retails again at 28,000 Kenya shillings. So as you can see the premium fill fingerprint magnet as you can see on the top of the screen there. Pretty standard I.O. power jack, uh, Ethernet, full size USB and a headphone jack. Uh, on the other side, as you can see, you have a full size VGA, HDMI and two super speed USB ports. Now this one's uh, the G2 or the Pro Books don't come with a disk drive. As you can see, they also have, this one also has a memory, full size memory card reader. So it's not heavy, it's a bit lighter than the previous 430 and this one is a little bit smaller than the 430 G2 as you can see this one is rocking an Intel Celeron processor clocked at 1.50 gigahertz with 8 GB RAM that is a lot at this price point as you can see the keyboard on this one is a little bit different yes the aluminium fill is on the inside by the way it has a 500 GB HDD and um, a HD screen, which is the usual size, 1366 times 768. Uh, speaker grills on the top, the power button. I love the placement of HP, the Wi-Fi, and uh, what I can assume I can assume is the mute button. This one feels standard. The, the keys on most of these laptops are clicky, but you can't compare laptop keys to the desktop keyboard because the desktop keyboard is really good as you can see there i'm trying to feel the weight like i've said this one is lighter not heavier like the 430 g2 this one is a little bit smaller now i'll think this is the best for you students because it's not big it's pretty standard it can fit in most bags this is the best laptop you can buy a bang for your buck apart from the disc um drive there of which not a lot of people use the disk drive uh you're getting what you're paying for here so obviously i'm not expecting you to do something heavy with this laptop it can do some light gaming because of the ram uh yeah but it's a good standard laptop so um thank you for watching guys um it's been an honor to uh, do this review for you guys um, if you have any questions on where you can find these laptops, just email me. You can find these laptops 
at Tech Buys. Tech Buys, uh, which is located in Pioneer uh, Building, which is next to Nation Center in the CBD in Nairobi. For those who are not in this country, maybe you can uh, look for these laptops on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can find them for pretty cheaper prices there. Uh, anyway, it's been a good video. Hope to see you. Not hope to see you. I should see you in the next one.